Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another NHL on EA Sports. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, another American versus the Canadian team. As you've already recalled it last time, it was all it takes down for beating their team as the Dallas Stars already beat against the Canadians the last game. And this was a fantastic percentage that they have already been doing. But the Calgary Flames definitely take out the American team of the Nashville Predators in Calgary at the, at the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome. That was the best terrific of their playing offense. It is their one week stride away and they've done their best as they can. But now, this next matchup, we're about to see what happens again if there's another chance for the American team to beat the Canadian team or the Canadian team beating against the American team. Now here's the next matchup we have. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs and they are playing at SAP Center in San Jose to face against the Sharks. Now the Sharks are not really the bear opponent team that we are looking at it for. Since we only have like Tomas Hurdle, he's the only player that was the superstar ability that has done all of his best. But for the Toronto Maple Leafs, there's one way that we are looking for one of the X Factor players. These are one of each. Austin Matthews has a shock and awe ability. Even if, of course, if he does have an elite shooting out of this toe drag, he makes it with a great look of it from the goaltender to come up right away from that, from that risk reaction. Might be turning out alright, but in that case, you may never know what's going to happen like that if you get it done correctly. On the other side, we have this Mitchell Marner, his third eye ability, an early peripheral passer. He does have it all with his chance, and he does all of it from his best technique to try to take him out all of his own. Looking for open passes on a great direct target, and definitely, of course, the assist. Now there is another way that we are looking at it for the goaltenders for tonight, tonight's game. Ilya Samsonov, and for the Sharks, Kapo Kakinen. Along with Mackenzie Blackwood, and the Leafs on the other side is Martin Jones. Now it's time to step in to the Sharks Arena of SAP Center. As standing by, I have here is all for everything. The third one of the commentary, it will be Wood Spoonie. But it may not be only the thing that you might be going to take here right from the other side here from NBA to NHL. But then we have some other commentaries. We have its fan. And finally for the center ice, we definitely have, um, of course, you know, life ring, which we will be out here for just a moment. And then the second commentary right next to it will be all for everything Boomer. So these are your commentaries for tonight's game. Fan, Boomer, and Wood Spoonie. And the center ice will be life ray. I'll be back with the post game show right after this break of the final period, and it'll be all finished. And now let's get to work. Guys, all yours. Enjoy the next game, folks. Hey, hello, everyone. Fan here, and this is NHL on EA Sports. We've had a great matchup in between the Maple Leafs and the Sharks. Along with me and along with the center ice here of Woods, uh, Light Brain, Wood Spoonie, and Boomer, this is NHL on EA Sports. Let the game begin. The starting group has followed. Yeah, have a second. Talent shot! What a shot range with a goal and they will have their first look to have that first period range. You know that one because of Zetterlin really made that goal. He made that one a good chance. Watch that play. You were looking at it right in between for the goaltender, and then when you skate around with the puck, you've got a good look of an angle. You make that one-time goal easier. That is as early range for the Sharks. They definitely dug that really well. Clear now to say, but the start of the run, this one turns to be a one nothing lead for the Sharks. Looking to get, looks like they're going to need to see what they can do to try to keep on passing the puck and then keep on going. Yeah, definitely the right thing. Might be known for, everybody has to go with that. Just to say things I never even noticed that 
Zip, uh, Vaden Zarlan really got that great shot of it and that ability was turning out to be a range success for After that one timer, it looks like he's going to turn it all for once. Now I'm going to pass back to Riley. He is moving the puck. Quickly back over again to Marner. On a shot. It's blocked up in a glass and it's rebounded by Nice. Riley in the corner. Now find Brody. Full pressure on the Leafs. Looks to me, shot. Save me comes up by Kakonen. Now the Sharks will gain their position right now as Amberson gives a pass to Zetterlin. Zetterlin looking for Ferraro. Ferraro right toward the middle. Rebound by Gerdahl. Puts up a first save here of the night by Sub Samsonov. Minor over now again to Matthews. Now to change off with the Leafs are on their offense position. Nice goes down. Rebound by Brody. Brody trying to slow it down. Now finds Nylander. Now we'll give off to again to Tavares. On a shot range. The save puts up again here by Kaepernick. Off to Nylander. Rebound by Tavares. In full pressure. And that pass was broken up. San Jose back to the other side. This is the puck range in battle. The center ice finds Amberson. Looks over to get to Grandland. Grandland will fire the puck around the net. Now the Leafs will have their possession here, just passing down the 16 minute mark. Tavir is right towards the corner. On a shot range in bound. Rebound it, and he scores. That first goal turns to be for Tavares. They tie this game up in the first period. Well, there's one, and there's the other one. Tavares got it now. You know, when that pass delivers it off to Tavares with the rebound, it looks like the Bertuzzi wanted to deflect it. But that problem with it turned out, it just get off the pad, right off the skater. And then it went right into the deflection. It goes right in, right by the skater a bit. And then Tavares had that goal. That was like a trickiest one that nobody has ever seen, saw that before. And you know, you just got to get out of the way. That puck got it in. Both teams tied up by one with under 16 minutes to go in the first period. Sharks and Leafs are better on opponent teams, and we are never seeing it how well they've done. Since last season comes up with an early loss against the Canucks run here in Vancouver, and they've already made that one too much to take over with their attempts to shoot that puck. Well, the range is very really unacceptable, and I just really have no other questions aside how much they've done this before, because the Vancouver Canucks, they are just pushing their way and bounding, and then this is whatever happens. They are really trying to get this thing over, and they are going to get it done right away. They're definitely looking at a chance now to get back in the playoffs, and it looks like they want to do this with a gun. It looks like they are better teams than others, from the Sharks to the West Coast, and of course, Calgary Flames. They might be out of the game, and they could be leaving soon. I may have to tell you now, that it is not really easy at all. You just got to believe it. Ryan Huffman covered up on the boards with a new line change, and the Sharks will have their possession. Addison dips off to Kunin. Sharks are in the Leafs territory. McMahon takes that puck after recovery. Now to Gordano. Pass to Jancroft. No, no offside has been whistled here. Klingberg gift to McMahon. Off and out to camp. Back shot saved by Kakonen. That really has to be a lot of dangerous trouble out there because that one's going to be a close call. But what a great stop by the goaltender. Carpenter goes down. Samsonov will have to wait from here. And right now they're ready for the faceoff. You know it easier why? I've never seen how well it does. But it definitely turned out great. Bigger than here. Officials of the game said you're ready for the faceoff to be puck dropped. Sharks will have their possession as Akaya put the puck to Stern. Save comes up by Samsonov. Here's Klingberg. Klingberg went wiped out. Here's Carpenter. Pass broken up. Camp on the corner. Taken along the board by Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi trying to look over with the lower move. Brody over again to Lexen. On a shot, Kakonen makes a save. We're nearing the midway mark of the period. Not quite passing the midway mark, but there's still much time to get. An easier run definitely puts up a slam body right near the boards. That near bench is going to be a hit to the make. 
Sharks back in the offensive position as Burroughs gets to Declare. Declare gets to Okoyuk. Okoyuk with the puck. Shoots. Saved by Samsonov. Riley in the corner. Try to leave the puck out of here. No icing is whistled here on both teams. Brody, give the opportunity. Now find Nylander. Nylander in the backhand. Loses one and Brandlin takes it back. Give back to Declare. Declare in the corner. In the middle. Save me by Samsonov. And a rebound put up by Nylander. That is a closing side. You can't just get away with that. And that piece of it just delivered it. Matthews again to Riley. Now he finds Brody. Off to Riley. On a deep range. Save me by Kaplanen. Brody retries again to Matthews. Matthews back to Brody. Shot denied by the goaltender. Grandline back the other way. Now give it over to McClure. Two on one fast break. And he loses that puck. And Newclar give it back. Oh, that was close call. Now get back to Riley. Past the midway mark of the period. Clear the board out to Austin Matthews. Now Morino has that in the corner. He finds McCabb. Dish off and the puck leaves the zone and will have to regroup to stay out of the zone. Now Matthews will have it over to Nice. He finds McCabb. Loses the puck and Jake Rock give it back to Gordano. Try to look over with the puck. Great puck well, passing zone for the Leafs. They keep on going. Always got to do it. Keep passing it before the puck steal. Giordano shot. Locked by Kaplanen. There are eight minutes to go in the first period. The team still tied by one. Let's have a call as we have life rings standing by. Mitchell Marner has the first liability that has all it turned out. He can make a great beauty passes to have an open look at the same time. Thomas Hurdle really has that one pressure. He might have a different choice and the range goes behind. I'll be watching on those two in between a Mitchell Marner and Thomas Hurdle. Back to you, fan. Teams are set, ready for the face-off. Sharks wins again as Ferraro have to hop in. Hop in right towards the middle. To the corner. Ferraro giving it back to Emerson. Shoots! Saved by again by Samsonov. Get back to Domi. Now Domi over again to Jankrock. Leaving corner from the blank. Back again to McNabb. McCabb, excuse me. Robertson shot. Save on the pad by Kaplanen. McCabb still going. Domi with the shot. Oh, he denies that one. What a great stop by Kaplanen. You know the big save does turn out. Kaplanen really has it all. Well, when we're looking for Mackenzie Blackwood, I never saw what was going to come out next. Win again for San Jose. San Jose into the offensive zone. Loses the puck range. Back again to Jigar. McMahon has that puck in range. Now finds McCab. Shoots! Oh, it denied by the goaltender as the defender comes up to reject that shot. McMahon to Gordano. A bad pass made and Ruda with the rebound. LeBanks over again to Addison. To Coonan. Coonan fires it around the net. Toronto back in the offensive side. Now finds the Beers. Looks again to McNabb. Now find Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi on the way. down shot. Again to Piergo. Pass it to Beers. Again to Gordano. Here's Klingberg. With a range. Oh, Kaplan made a huge save. What a stop. How did he hold on to that? Well, he really never knows how he could stop that puck out there. That is a really good sight. Win again for the Sharks. Addison will have that puck range about and now find Ruda. Bangs off the corner of the wall and now find Langston to Klingberg. Take it along by Lee Nylander. One on one opportunity. Didn't want to take a risk and he gives it over to Leipzig. Klingberg again to Bertuzzi. Shoots! Gloved by Cochran. 
Under four minutes remaining in the first period, still no score to take the lead. It's still a once. Now for the Leafs win, Hurdle takes the puck and now Eklund will have it. Here's Eklund on a shot. Good stop by Klingberg as he crouches down and he will have that puck cleared out. Now the Sharks begin back into the territory. Zetterlin, can he do it? Oh, Samsonov denies that shot and this one goes off with another huge save. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still a tie game looking for Elite to take off. Ferraro blocked that shot by Marner and the late penalty's called. That will be a tripping on Mitchell Marner and he's in the penalty box. Not a great source. You don't want that to get in right towards you. And you want to stay out for your own life. Sharks will start their first power play in the first period with under 3.20 to go. Win for the Sharks. Addison! That one gets a block. Kemp will clear out the puck and Kaplan will release it. Right now he has it over to Granlin. Deep pass to Zandina. Zandina right in the middle. This one stopped by Samsonov and now Giordano. Giordano to Kemp. Over on a breakaway chain to Jankrock. Shoots from corner. Cochran made a great stop. 2.30 left to go in the first period. Still looking for an early lead run to take a 2-1 hit. Sharks give it back into the offensive zone and now while the power play continues. Here's Sutherland give to Emerson. Shoot save me by Samsonov. That really has to be a close call. That range is not really going to take out along with that. Eklund, oh, looks like the defender wants to try to revenge that one. Lexon will clear the puck out of here. Battling again. Hoffman trying to hold on. Hoffman continues. He's in the middle. Shooting and deflection will never get in. Hurdle right into the center. On the backhand, save made by Samsonov. 18 seconds in a power play. Only down on the 90 seconds remaining in the first period. Looking like there's going to be another face-off chance if they wanted to stop their run to get back into the rights. Win for Hoffman. Saved by Samsonov. Jack Rock will clear the puck out of here. Looks like the Sharks are down to expire. The Sharks will have their empty hand with the power play as their power play is already finished. Back to full strength for the Leafs. They're making like they're like losing it. A lot of attackers out there. Looks like Austin Matthews wants to help them out. Their defense is not getting really well stabled, but they are trying to like keep it out. No way you can't leave it alone. Rebound stop again by Kakonen. That really has to be a tough saving in, in between. They've done really well, and Samsonov really knows he's gotten great. Shoots again. Rebound now, and he scores. Oh, my goodness. Mitchell Marner had that close call. He finally gets a goal after in the penalty box. Well, it is not an absolutely true. Because how much he does, he just found a way to open the gap. The box door step makes the close quarter a really close call. Well, now Mitchell Marner getting the goal, he made that one clearly in it. Just took it away from it, and he has no idea if he can make it or not. And he finally had that one open-handed. Sandina shoots, and that one ends a save here by Samsonov. And so the first quarter comes to an end. With a 2-1 lead, all turns to Mitchell Marner. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. Welcome back to SAP Center and on EA Sports as we're about to start the second period. And we are off to set away here in Pacific Coast of the San Jose, California. With our close call of the relationship, let's have your takes here in between of the Sharks and Leafs back in the first period recap. Well, they're really done really well. 
This offense is putting up a lot of great stoppage on the run. In between those two, you know that Zettelin made that goal earlier to have that start with the first period with just only two minutes ago in the first period. And then it was all that turned out to be Leafs that had to tie that game up. And then nearing the end of the first period, this was all that just happened to be a close calling save. This run was not even turned out to be easy that they're getting away. Because right now, someone had that buck and that earlier range supposed to be for Tavia Taverns. They got they had that one here as they are just putting out Mitchell Marner was really putting up a great stop. But this arrangement keeps on coming. They really wanted to get away with this and they don't want to waste their time like spending a night all over it. Nylander back to Brody and now give it off to Giordano. He finds Matthews in a shot. Saved there by Kaplanen. You know, in AZRY I could definitely say that this was a closest game that you can get. It's because of what they've done. They really are going in between here. One on one fast break. Nylander lost the puck and Addison will try to recover it. And Addison lost that one. No main opener. Clearing the puck out of the zone in the Sharks' territory. Nylander beats him. Oh, Addison tried to take a payback on him. For Terzi back to Giordano. And now find McCabe. Offside will whistle on the Toronto Maple Leafs with 16.35 left to go. Still a lot of time left in this period. Leafs are in a good, good position. 2-1. Now to win for Addison. Addison to Zadina. Pulls the pass to Addison. The wraparound, he scores! You never see what this happened right now because Kaylin Addison did. He really had that wraparound. Watch here. You know, when he gave it off that pass, he tried to beat over it again to Samson off. When you make that puck on string work, you go back on Zadina with the pass, an early release mid, and then he went right in it. He just made that pass. If there was a challenge on that call, you know he would have stopped that one. Leafs wins the faceoff. Their team is tied up by two. And this one going to be like a close battle range as Jank Rockwell and their team trying to fight back. Here's McCabe, he will have that puck get back to Domi. Here's Giordano. Shoots! Glove saved by Kakonen. And now you're down with only 15, 46 remaining. It's a tie game. Now they're ready to do another face-off. There's both teams are still tied up looking to get more. Kunin wins the face-off. Hopping right towards the right side. Gets squished up by Jerry Brock. LeBanks right over into the left. With the pass to Kunin shot. Good stop by Samsonov and this one turns to be another save by the Leafs. They really need to get out of here. This danger zone is impossible. You gotta do it out of here. It's dangerously trying to get you out of here in your sight. Jerry Brock's a domain shot blocked by LeBanks. Addison will have that puck here inbound. And it leaves defensive in. Hoffman lost that puck. And this will clear it out of the zone into the Sharks' territory. He finds a pass. Shot way off the mark. And Kaplan makes a huge save to pick up a stop. Two teams are tied up now. Looks like the Samson up and Kaepernick really got a good battle to take. Mm-hmm. This real life may be a tough way to you get this. But you're never going to get alone when you can. Here's Settling on Lexan. 2 on one opportunity. Pat save by Samson off. Hurdle back to Settling. Hurdle again. Pat save. Stayed out of the zone by Camp. Klingberg will try to clear it out. I see whistled out. Gregor right over again to get to Brody. Brody and a cut racing bound. Matthews to give it up. Cut when it makes a save. Oh, what a great selfie connection in for the Leafs. And you give off to Austin Matthews with a good bank in. That really is a close extension. Really might be a, almost a troublemaking for the Sharks. Really a close call. Amberson wins the face off and now find Eklund. Eklund can't find anybody. Riley went stumble down, another shark step. 
We're going to lost the puck and then we'll give it over to clear the puck out of here. Now he finds nice as the icing is waved off. Riley back again to Brody. Riley trying to look for more room. He finds Matthews on a cut. Saved me by Cochran. Behind the net is Knees. Amberson with the puck. To take off the hurdle. Sharks back in the offensive zone. And the cut inbound. Saved by Samsonov. Oh my. That's the biggest save I've never seen how this turned out. Well, that was tricky. They're really like taking it over. That pressure is going to put up a worst. That really is an extension. Not a best choice. Saved by Kakernan. Rebound again. And Duclair takes that puck. Now Duclair will have that in the corner. Pass to Grandland. Move around. Saved by Samsonov. Up again. Duclair. Stop by Samsonov. Oh, what a great take for the Sharks. They could have made that one easier to go with that flight shot. Now they're ready to do an air face-off near the midway mark of the period. Toronto wins the draw. Giordano will have it again to Bertuzzi and the pass is broken up. Bradley over it again to Ruta. Here he comes. Slabbed it. Loses the puck and a slap shot will take it away. Oh, Nylander, here he comes. Backhand blocked by Duclair. Duclair with the puck and take. Getting away with it. And to Grandland. Lost that puck and McMahon takes it over back to Gregor. Fires around the net. McMahon still got it recovered here into the corner. Trial looks like he was not going to get there, but he still needs to find help. Go down now, back again to camp. Shoots! Saved again by Cochran with the glove. Toronto with the rebound. Pass broken up. Gregor takes it away, and the full pressure's on. Here's Klingberg. Shoots again! It's blocked up by the defender. Here's Declare. Shuts him down right to the corner of the wall. Likes it again to Klingberg. Now he gives the camp. Eight minutes going into the second period. Here's Robertson with the puck. Get back to Klingberg. He finds Camp. Camp almost lost that puck, but still can't find anybody. Well, they're really racing it towards in between. The Sharks are putting the pressure. They want defense. Saved again by Kakonan. Lorenz right into the center. Not poke check. A save comes again by Sansonal. Two times stop. Domi will fire that puck out. San Jose back into the offensive zone as Al-Qaeda with the puck down finds Smith. Here's Sturm. Sturm with the cut and bound. That puck goes wide. Here's Marner. Try to look over the middle. Rory lost that puck. Here's again to Matthews and now we'll race towards inside. Now finds Riley. Shoots again. Cochran makes a glove save. Just approaching down to six minutes. And right now the faceoff is coming in. That one's going to be a clean hit. That is a definitely a word that you can't just try to like get away with this. You got to have that clear. Austin Matthews. The shock and ability made that one all time worth it. I have a lot of the courtesy to make that one for Austin Matthews as he's been turning out to be one of his big time moments. When he makes that good all, or good shock and all moment, he makes the goaltender make that reaction go quick. We'll find out if Austin Matthews will have to make another huge save to try to pull him a stop. Back to you. Great stop here. I never seen how much of it is going to get there. But just a good work, he credit. You just got to make that one go, get out of here. He finds again the party. Here's Matthews on a shot. Releases. The shock and all throws up an unsuccessful run. He finds Birdie. Now he tries to Matthews. Get back to Birdie. His knees. Shoots. Gloved again by Cochran. Oh, Cochran's doing really good right now with under five minutes remaining. Looks like he's going to have to see if he can get another save.
the Leafs wins the faceoff. Brody. Again, saved by Kakonen. He is not getting away with this as he puts up another huge save to pick up a saving mate. A lot of goaltenders have a lot of reaction, but this time is not always that easy. You know the impossible strength of being a save and trying to go up at the extension timing to go quickly? Because the Cochran really made that win a lot of huge stop. This inbound is keeping out away from it. Nobody got that saw that one coming in there, but you know that this one really been turning to be a lot much harder than they think. I don't know what's going on with them, but Cochran really got a lot of huge inbound. That save is just a great way to make that save for. But Terzi shot saved again by Kakonen. What a big save moment and Brody takes it out. With the shot, that goes wide and right toward the net. Hurdle with the puck, now find Emerson. Take it along by Eklund. Fast that puck here. Eklund saved by Samson Isles. Try to get off the beers and Kunin with the puck. He finds Eklund. Loses the puck range. Now to Eklund. Lost that puck. Nylander back again on the other side. Fires around the net. San Jose trying to battle with the puck range. Ferraro back to Hoffman. Here's Hoffman right back towards the other side with two minutes going by in the second period. Now Domi. Off the pass to Jay Brock. Oh, another big save here by, by Kaepernick. And Brody will have that puck in range for 90 seconds. Cart with a slot. Big denied by the puck. Full pressures on the Leafs. Giordano. Oh, makes an error shut down. Lamanks on Robertson. Good stop here as Samson Hoff will give it over to Giordano. We're in our minute remaining and it's Robertson with the puck. Try to go with the beat. That one puts up an unsuccessful pass here and back again to Gremlin. He finds Addison. Take it along by Zadina. Full pressure range. Here's Gremlin with the puck. Tries to go with the beat. Save again by Samson Knopp. Unbelievable moment. That really has to be a hard extension to go with the save. Grab the shoots and it's blocked. That ends the second period. The Sharks made a comeback to tie that game up, and we'll find out who will make the next goal. Third period is next after this. Hey everybody, Terry Crews here, and I have a little bit of a message for you all. Because we brought some of the sports in here coming back in. And on the day of the march, it's all turning to be one of our best. And one of our famous to welcoming back in for this part of the NCAA tournaments. In between of each conference, they are hosting the Men's Final Four in Phoenix. The March Madness is coming on our way back here, so there is one way that we are making a particular moment to keep your eyes on the game. On March, we are about to be seeing what's going on in between for the tournaments before the March Madness begins. The first four will be happening here right across the corner, and this one will be the start to make the appearance for the NCAA tournament round. The first four will be happening here first, before the start of the round in the tournament. Be sure to catch in here right now with your favorite team to make him move on to the next round before being eliminated. And the final four will be determined to find out who the four, play four teams are. You'll see what happens to keep your eyes on the game on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. Catch all year long by downloading the app of the March Madness app and the final four of the 2024 of Phoenix to keep your eyes on, and this will be at the State Farm Stadium. Well, I hope you enjoyed the part of the Super Bowl 58, but now it's time to bring things on with March Madness in the game. So keep your eyes peeled, and they'll be underway soon to have another good look. And finally, the last one we have is the postseason. It'll be coming in pretty soon, starting in April, on the midday of April, around this one part of the NBA play-in tournaments. And finally, the NHL season with the last one to call for, Canucks and Wilds. So, we may never know what happens here. It will be starting the beginning of the April. That will be the last game to keep your eyes peeled on. And with that being said, 
it will be all for everything. That's the end of the announcements. Now it's time to rumble back in for the final period. Terry Crews out. Are you ready for the third period? Well, it's that time. Both teams tied. Let the game begin. With the final period start, this has been a one absolute uh, amazing team to be out here for the lookout. Every chain they go, this was fun. Let's have the retake here of how they did come up with the tie, guys. Well, this really has been turning like that the Leafs have been really been dominating their pressure. Ever since they really wanted to do this one here in the Atlantic Coast of a Division, they've really done their best. All their strength, they've really never done anything that's much longer than that. And because they found another way to try to like put the puck out of here, they found a choice. They made that one to tie this game up. And this one goes out with the Sharks. They tie this game up really quickly. And it looks like they wanted to do this one again. They've gotten pretty rough over the years. But this one was not the day that they are getting out of here. All of this takes is a lot of courtesy to take. Wow, that takedown really quickly here into the bench zone. Looks like that's a shark takedown. Well, not of the old Leafs easier. They've really been stumbled. Here's Ferraro to get it off to Zetterling. Zetterling goes down with a double man takedown. And now the Riley will clear the puck out of here and now find the Sharks territory. Nice! Lost that puck, couldn't find anybody. Here comes Duclair to take the lead! Oh, the save by Samsonov! What a big stop here! Oh, the making. I never really thought that this was going to happen like that. Here's Andino. Try to release it. The pot saved again by Samsonov. And now back to Riley. Here he comes to McNeilander. Nylander to break the chain. Sweep out again. Lost that puck. Couldn't be able to save it. And it goes right with the prior, prior pedal to the metal. He finds McCab. Shoots way wide off the mark. To Beers again to Riley. Robertson back past to Riley over again to Beers. Try to with the shot. Save again. That one ticked it out of here. Oh, what a great reaction here by Cochran. This one really tucks out with a punch out. That really saving is not easy enough. That is a close call. No penalty on Toronto. That puck will fire out clearly. Icy's whistled out. Domi try to hold on. Here's Addison. He gives it to LeBanks. LeBanks on a 2 on 1 opportunity. Never big stop by Samsonov. Domi kicks the puck out of the zone. And Bruno will have that puck in cover, bind on Hoffman. Lost that puck as Jank Rock has it. New changeup, trying to battle it for the puck loose. Here's Addison. With the puck, he loses one. Addison trying to hold on. LeBanks has it now. With the whip around, try to move in. Samsonov got a pretty tough one to take, but nice big save here. Here's McMahon. 2 on 1, he scores! And they're back in the lead. Gregor has their team up to take a one start in. Not always a chance, you know, Noah, Gregor, what happened? That really took some backhand to take it in. You know, when you pass right down to the center of ice, and then when he's all open, he got a great pass here, right towards the middle and beating the goaltender. That is quick. Insane run. There's a lot of battle takes in between for Gregor. When I'm playing again with the Sharks, he really knows that he's been really taking a lot of his time to go right in between. I know that Gregor was really going to have to do this one again, but hopefully or not, it might be a tough way to take him out. But not to worry, we'll find out what they can do. I'll try to keep an eye on here on Gregor if he gets more than halfway down. That guys? While it's easier to say that Gregor was really tough on him, you've got to keep an eye on that. Clean burn, and the puck will be selling out of the zone and into the netting. That big side here, and this one really turned quick for Cochranin. It looks like he's not done yet. He's really taking his time to go with another side. Teams are set, ready for the faceoff. The leads are back in front. 3-2. San Jose wins the, wins the face-off. 
Rita, oh wow, what a big bang here. Mays with the puck. Give it back to Lexan. And Klingberg over again in the middle of Matthews. Save again by Kat going in. Just a good enough timing before the goaltender got him. Knee shot. That deflected off the player. In near the goal post. His hurdle, he'll have that puck recovery. Try to hold on to it. Full pressure. Continues. Glove by Cochran. 12.04 left to go in the third period. They're still trying to fight in. Keep an eyes out for trouble if you see one. Now the way to do our face off, just coming down away. Losing the face off will be on the leaves as Burroughs gives to the clown. Here he comes, right toward the corner. Lose that puck as Laxon's got one. Here's Matthews. Matthews right towards the corner. Gets banged out. Knees with the puck. Behind the net. Nobody to look. Get back to Laxon now again to Klingberg. He shoots again, he scores! Looks like that Klingberg just got that one in there. And it looks like he hit the pad. He just got the extension in. Keep an eye out for John Klingberg, and you got that deflection to take it. You know, when a goaltender sees that one coming, you see that Klingberg uses his momentum, took the fling of the puck, and then it just happened to hit underneath the elbow. That went right towards setting into the net. Van Rudy is going to have to take a lot of his time for Cochran to try to regroup. The Leafs had the extension, 4-2, and they're total of the game. Looks like they're trying to get out of here from the shark zone to the leaf zone. There's a lot of good takes in between. Yeah, exactly. I know this was really that hard to make that experience in there, but not toward always. They need more room. Confident, oh, almost lost that one. But a great stop puts it made by the Sharks defender. Now they're ready to do one again. The Leafs extend to ball two. 4-2 and a run. The next face-off puts a win for the Toronto. Tavir's over again. Try to give up the pad save. And there's the penalty. Oh boy, the Sharks are in trouble now. Well, this is what happens. That slash is going to be on Zendina. This is what happens now. you got to hurt that player. You, you know it's going to hurt very badly. And they are sending him to the penalty box. They got him. The Maple Leafs will start their first power play in the third period, which is only 10-16 left to go. A penalty kill for the San Jose will now bring her up. For our gift to Kunin. Here it comes. Lose that puck range as for turns. He will give that thing back over again to Jenkraft. Broke it up the pass play. A tight kick will clear it out. Matthews with the puck. Now the Sharks are back on defense. Bertuzzi in the corner, trying to give to Domi. Domi battling for the loose puck. They won't pick up that play and back to Matthews. Open with the Jankrock shot, saved in by Kaepernick. They got a good timing out there, just keeping it going. Oh, what a big stop. And the puck sails out of the zone into the bleachers. Into the bench, hey man. The wing for San Jose. Burroughs in trouble. Ruta over again to Carpenter. Here he comes, 2 on one Saved by Samsonov. A big release with a big save of the night. This was a clear one to take the save, Burrow, because Samsonov really dug it out. The saucer pass is broken up. You'll clear the puck out, but the time is winding down. Looks like his time is about to expire. The Leafs will have an ending here for the power play of the not this time. So Beers had that two goals in this game, and they extend 5-2. Well, it really has to be a bad day for Cochran. You really didn't see what the puck was going. 
you know when you make a spin move and you make that one in there, you got a big uh, look and the open a look. The captain really got it all, and this one really got towards right past the goaltender. He got a clean one hit away. It actually run after the power play finish. They never get the power play goal this time. So it looks like it's a clean goal and not even tough anyone else can be. Here's Indina with the recover corner to clear block the shot by Riley. Randler again saved by Samsonov. The new group will be Mackenzie Blackwood. We'll see how well he does. If Cochran really makes it out mistaken, we'll find out what he does. Brody, and there's another penalty. Oh my gosh. We're getting a lot of penalty calls here for the Sharks. Well, because the referee's head was signaling the, the delay penalty call, they're not getting away with this. This is a bad day for them. Not even anybody is going to do this one uh, the whole time. They're not doing really well. They've got to get out of here. And there's another penalty. And Dina with the second time of the slashing, and he has two. The last time, it was going to be a bad day for the Sharks. But hey, there's no way that they are not turning out there to be good at all. The Sharks have two penalty kills to remain here, and the Leafs will have their advantage with the power play. With a win for the Leafs, shoots, and that one stopped again by by Cochran. His knees again to Krajankov, saving the bell. No, oh, that went way way out of the mark. Granada will try to clear that puck, and now find knees will have it over. Deep to pass to Jankrat. Look to middle to Paterzi. Paterzi shot and confidence still out there. Six swap to go in the third period. Still a lot of time left here for the Leafs. But the Sharks may not be able to answer back if there's another goal tending for the Zetterland or everybody. The win puts up again for the Leafs. Smith to Emerson. Clear the puck out of here in the Leafs territory. Toronto's back in position right now to Bertuzzi. 5.15 remaining in the third. One minute in the power play for the Leafs. Liz the puck range. Nobody to care open it. Carpenter fouls it quickly and this one rolls around the ice. Around the wall and back to Giuliano. Here's Bertuzzi. Emerson's got that puck with 30 seconds. San Jose back in the offense. Oh, Jake Rock got that pull out of here. And this one's a lot of big, big banging again. They're just not getting it easy enough. E man. Looks like his time's about to expire. Patuzzi. Power plays over. Jake Rock rebound again. Over and out. Oh, Cochran. Really had that big save to struggle it, but he's still recovering it again. And trying to keep it out. Not easier to say that Capo Cochran really gotten pretty much saving, but this was not their time to be out there with a the lookout change. They've got to get out of here for a lot much harder than they got. They're doing this that they can't. I know they're doing really hard with that, but it's a great saving for the Sharks to take out. They really are clearing the puck out of here really good. But I can't really tell them how much they've been doing this, but they're pretending to do a lot of big savings of this one for Cochran. They've done a lot of them. Oh, Nice didn't really get that goal in time. And Jen Croc will have it back. Over to get to Giordano. Giordano to Jen Croc and Nice will have it. Nice in a shareaway chain. That's stopped again by Cockpitting. Jen Croc in the backhand gets deflected off of Okayu. Now Duclair will have it. Here's Gremlin. Over to Duclair shot. Saved by Samsonov. Back to DeVere's on the other hand. Here he comes. We'll try to pick it here. He gets banged out. Okay, back to Eklund. Eklund right in the middle. Flip to Okay. Okay, can get to Zetelin. On to Burrow's shot. It's gloved by Samsonov. We're under two minutes remaining in the third, and this will be another faceoff coming up. Looks like we do have one. Let's take it to a flight frame with the Claire of Mitchell Meyer. 
Mitchell Marner's been doing really successful lately, and I can't really tell how much he is. The impossible run to turn out to be a great day for him. It all turns to be a third eye ability, and he's been doing really well to keep up for six. He's been doing to keep his eyes on his career, looking for more. Saved by Cockernan on a big rebound by Riley, and back again to Bertuzzi. This is not what everybody does. Like, this is close to break a range out of him. Poked away by the goaltender with one minute remaining. Now Eklund will have that puck in range and bound. He finds Hurdle. Taken along as Kemp takes that puck out of there. Riley will have to clear that puck. Brody along again. Kemp recovers the puck. He gets slammed down. McMahon. Will he do it? No, it denies again by Kakonen. Well, that's all it took. Because no inbounds for the Sharks. They've gotten clogged and they've gotten away with it. And so, Kemp and their team will take their first win in a road trip with a shot saved by Kakonen. Your final score of the night is Toronto 5 and Sharks 2. This was the biggest uh, rivalous moment here for the Canadian and American team to take all of them. Not a choice, but they've been going out of here since then. Well, it all takes out for every player to do with their goal, they've done their best. Great dive for all key four. The celebration win here for the Toronto Maple Lights, they've gotten pretty good, and they are taking it away big. Along with me, Finn, and with Spoonie, and Boomer, along with Light Brain, this has been a presentation of the NHL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day, everybody. Thank you, guys. Right now, it's time for your three-star players of the game. We have no third-star ability that goes with a great look here for Gregor. He made that one a good uh, goal to take all. The second star goes to Ilya Samsonov with 35 saves of the biggest night. And your first star goes to John Tavares with two goals and three hits. He always does know to make the rebound and drive it toward the net. Here's how he did with the total statistics. Toronto with 59 over 37 with the total shots. 38 over 36 for San Jose Sharks. 1445 over 431 for Toronto on a time on attack. 90 over 79 for the San Jose Sharks. 31 over 7 for San Jose Sharks in the faceoff win. Penalty kill was 4 minutes for San Jose Sharks, over 2 minutes for Toronto. And then it was no power play goals in between. Only power play minutes was 4 minutes for Toronto. Well, that's it for right now. And another Canadian team takes out the American team. Looks like there's going to be more to keep your eyes on appealance with another next matchup. We've got the Islanders, and they are facing at Detroit to play against the Red Wings to go of another face-off to have all the takedown. And then after that will be the Knights versus the Senators at Ottawa, and last but not least will be Canucks versus the Wilds. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll have tons of more uh, coming up in just a bit, including the skits that will be underway pretty soon. You'll see more on, the, on its way momentarily. In the meantime, thank you all so much for tuning in for the NHL on EA Sports, and peace out, folks, for a while. That's NHL 24 Dial. So peace out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and follow me on my social media. If you don't, somebody will. Terry Cruz will be back here for the next game, so we like to say thank you for your, so much for your patience. And see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Don't, if you don't, somebody will.